LEGO train builders and collectors were blessed with a Creator Expert set during the summer of 2020, but that wasn't the only train to grace the market. Fan-run companies like BrickTrack sold their first train set, and military-oriented Brickmania blew away the community by plunging deep into the railroad market with five kits. All of these came with a high price tag, causing a rift amongst consumers. Many cried, well, why should I buy this when I saw this Chinese train for $100? They were referring to Mold King, a relatively unknown company from China owned by Lepin, this year, they quietly announced a model of a QJ-class steam locomotive and a freight car. People talked reverently about this Mold King model for its price, but no one was ordering the product in question. So I took the plunge and ordered Mold King's QJ and C70 carriage set to review. Getting the order was half the battle. I placed my order on November 20th on AliExpress and had some difficulty receiving my package. My order was sent back to Mold King for an unknown reason. And after contacting them via email, the package arrived on my doorstep on December 7th. Inside my box, the bags for set 12003 were laying in the box while the freight car was wrapped separately. The set comes with a rechargeable lithium battery, remote control, two L motors, and LED lights for the headlight. Now, while I get started on the build, here's what Mold King has to say about the QJ. Train, also known as Railway Train, refers to the vehicles running on the railway track, which is composed of multiple carriages, and is one of the most important modern means of transportation for human beings. I'm not making that up. That's actually on their art on the website. So, after doing some research, uh, I can tell you that the QJs are a 2102 designed for China railways with some Soviet influence. The locomotives went through an extensive testing period, and production didn't start until 1964, making them the last steam locomotive class to go into production in the world. Construction of the QJs lasted all the way until 1988, with just over 4,700 examples of the class being built. Now, to give you an idea of how many that is, they outnumber the EMD SD40-2s. Their working careers lasted until the end of the 2010s, with several QJs now preserved. Three have found their way to America, and the most famous of the bunch, 6988, has certainly fueled foreign interest for the locomotives. As for Mold King's take on the QJ, it is a faithful model of the class, sporting large smoke deflectors and full valve gear using Technic parts. Given the QJ's length, the front and rear drivers are at flanges, while the middle three are blind to handle tight curves. The pony and trailing trucks bend to a tight degree to allow the QJ to navigate the standard LEGO R40 radius. The magnets provided with the set are extremely powerful and should have no problems holding onto anything. The twin L motors are packed snugly into the boiler, with a differential gear allowing for each motor to propel the locomotive forward or backwards. Now, looking towards the all-weather cab, I was initially skeptical of the dangling ladders, but their flexibility helps the drawbar around tight curves, a nice little feature. Now, the tender, while it's basic in its design, still captures the right look for the class, and even features an open coal bunker where the stoker can be seen and can even turn. This is where my praise for the model ends, as it looks the part, but the problems start to emerge. Now, my model only has two stickers applied, the vents on the top of the boiler. This is because the rest of the stickers should be transparent, but they were printed on white, meaning they look quite silly on the locomotive. The pony truck, while it looks fine, when you lift the locomotive from the track, it dangles due to the rubbery hose connecting it. Now, while test running my model, the drawbar had a tendency to come undone and the trailing truck would fall completely off the locomotive. This leads us right into the performance of Mold King's QJ, or lack thereof. You see, I wanted to show you this locomotive running, and I ran it for maybe a half an hour before I grabbed my camera, just to make sure the valve gear worked and everything was smooth. The LED lights that came with the QJ were stuck together, and after prying them apart to fit the headlight, one of them fell off and the exposed wires crossed causing a spark, a puff of smoke, and my battery box was fried. Afterwards, my battery box stopped responding, and as such, I can't run the locomotive. But when it did run, you can see that there are only two speeds, moderate and fast. As I personally don't care for shelf queens and try to keep my models operational, 
I plan on modifying the locomotive and upgrading it in subsequent videos. Now, for the accompanying freight car, I'll actually give it some praise, as this model came nicely together and matched the prototypes of the C-70 gondola, which is strikingly similar to the C-64. Now, both of these were actually hard to find information on, but these are probably the most common freight cars that you can find in China. Now, the gondola comes with a generous eight sections of straight track to accompany the oval provided by the QJ. The track is a direct knockoff to LEGO's track, minus the logo stamped into the studs. I feel wrong for owning a bootleg product, but to give some credit to Mold King, the company itself does strive for original models, and the QJ is an original design that clearly was a work of passion for somebody. All in all, I paid $125 and was delivered a fine product, but I still can't give it a glowing recommendation. The electronics will surely fail at some point, and the constant derailments when it did run gave me a headache. I wasn't disappointed with the electronics failing on the QJ, I got exactly what I figured I would pay for. If you're willing to look past this for a shelf queen, then by all means knock yourself out. Just realize that this is not as polished a product as any LEGO or fan-made content is on the market. Those models come made with 100% genuine LEGO parts and their performance is ironclad out the gate before it's even for sale. The 12003 QJ should not be on the pedestal that has been placed upon on forums and discussion boards, and I hope this review gave some light as to why that is. I do want to thank you for taking the time to watch this review, and please subscribe for more on this project, LEGO Creations, and other rail fanning content. I'm Nick Dombey from Toledo Rails. We'll see you next time.